So here we have the example of the last video where we were playing with holes, but let's say we wanted to turn this into an endless stream of circles using the decap method. Well, due to it being a circle, it would have all these bumps in it as it went on endlessly, but let's see if we could try to avoid it creatively. So we're just gonna duplicate it over, hide it because, you know, I always like to have an original just in case I mess up. And we'll get rid of sub D and we have some overlapping edges. I think I saw that earlier and I just didn't clean it up, but it's just terrible, I know. So what I'm thinking about doing is just using box cutter and drawing a blue box right about here. You know, we'll just remirror it just to be, you know, almost precise. And with this one, we can just begin contemplating how we want to straighten it out. So I'm thinking we move it over about that far. We do the same thing with this one, move it over. Oh, we're not even using vertex snap, we're using increment. So let us actually move it over. And so now we've kind of flattened this area out. And so let's give this a try, Q, O, T. We'll press spacebar and use our spacebar menu to change things over to decap. But right now we're using a Z and we actually want to press X a couple of times until we have it on the Y. And we want to get as close to these edges as possible just so we don't have a very noticeable distance issue happening, but there is definitely gonna be a slight distance issue. It cannot be avoided. And if we press C, we have our caps back. If we press D, we actually hide the original mesh. So now we are only looking at what our result is gonna be. So something about here and let us test it. So we press Q, go into array and we roll the wheel we're now extending this shape. Let us turn off wireframe and we see that, you know, if we press B to use our border select just as a line, that it actually came out very straight. And then best of all, we add a subdivision on it and it's a subdivision shape. So once again, we're right back to the very first example, but just like that, we're able to turn this into an endless array mesh and we still have it being friendly with subdivision at the same time. So just a little bit of how you would have some practical use out of the tools inside of hard ops, especially decap, which is hardly ever talked about, but is so essential. I mean, if we really wanted to get weird with this thing, um, one of the latest things added is the curve modifier, which when added, you can use F9 in order to change it to an axis that you actually want it to be on. In this case, we want it on the Y axis and you can see the curve through the mesh, letting us know that it's on the Y axis and just like that, we're now able to deform the mesh relatively easy. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this obsessively now at this point, but it's still just one of those things that I'm just so glad to now be able to do.